I realize that I'm standing between you and Sapa. So I'm going to try to be very brief. <laughs> the 80th anniversary of the Youth League is a special occasion. And I thank you, comrades. For some of us, we, we knew nothing. Grew up, born and bred in the youth movement. And come through the ranks of the African National Congress. We have always understood and learned that the ANC Youth League is a preparatory school. The ANC Youth League is a manufacturing factory. Leadership preparation for the African National Congress. And if you have not gone through that school, you will see dithering and uh, not really factory faults, but you will see the disconnect. Uh, because the Youth League is an organization of young people created by the African National Congress to breathe life to society in terms of Congress ideas to the youth of our country, wherever they are found, because the youth is not a homogeneous entity. You've got youth in the church, but you can make a mistake because you go to conquer and see all important people that think that all youth are, are like conquer. And other youth are in the church. Others are unemployed. Others are nowhere. Now, youth is not monolithic. It's not a homogeneous entity. It is desperate. In a sense that people get to know about the ANC, what it stands for, because of the ANC Youth League. It is a political school on its own, where you are allowed to make mistakes. We are the only youth organization in this country, for decades, uninterrupted, indestructible struggles. We have breathed life to the African National Congress. We are the preparatory school of the African National Congress. We are an organ of the ANC, of which in its overall body politic and policy, we participate. We, we, have, we have generated ideas. We have built the African National Congress. It is in 1949 and 1944 that the history of the ANC was not the same after the birth of the African National Congress Youth League. We championed the militant program of action. Your first president, when Nelson Mandela talked about Anton Limbert, he doesn't stop talking. Anton Limbert died at the age of 28. He was a lawyer at the age of 28. At the age of 28, when Limbert died, he was a lawyer. He was the president of the Youth League. He talked about stoical discipline. They produced the basic document of the youth. They breathed life to the ANC and changing the path of struggle in our country forever. Militant politics were generated and planted in the ANC by the youth. The generation of Nelson Mandela, Anton Limbede, Mpolisi Majombozi, Walter Sisulu, Congress Mbata, Apim Da. That was a special generation. On the 10th of September, the ANC Youth League at Bantuman was launched. And the only woman who attended that launch was uh, Messi Sul. Ngoba Umto Akebepa. Comrade Walter Sisul. 
the ANC Youth League on the 10th of September was formed. Comrades, the path of history changed forever in terms of the life of the African National Congress. And today we are celebrating, here in Gauteng only, eight years of the ANC Youth League. We started last week, comrades say they will celebrate it with a march. Excellent program of the Youth League. But I argue with the president of the Youth League, it can't end like that. Eight years of the Youth League. Peter Mugawa used to say the Youth League <coughs> is a boomerang. Is a boomerang. That's what Peter Mugawa used to say. I mean, uh, Oliver Tambo, talking about the youth in 1985. In January 8th statement, he says, and we want the mantle of the young lions. And he said to the youth, render the country ungovernable and the apartheid machinery unworkable. That was the clarion call. 1985, the International Year of the Youth, declared by the United Nations. South Africa was not going to be the same again. In 1987, in 1986, the Boers introduced the state of emergency. 1985, 86. And then 86, Lekhranje comes in, Adrian Flock in 1987. And the South African Youth Congress is formed in Cape Town at Belleville, uh, UWC today led by Peter Mugaba coming out of Robben Island, Rapumulegani as the Secretary General of the ANC Youth League. Now, I'm saying that, comrades, the history of the youth movement in this country to be where we are today. 